Good morning everyone! Today we're gonna walk the entire Central Park from the very north border to the southern one. And here we are, same park, same Mary Jane, exactly six months later during the long New York City winter. I'm gonna go through more or less the same spots and show you how different Central Park is throughout the seasons. Mary Jane and I usually make cycling videos around the area of New York City but today I am gonna walk so I just entered the park in its northern border so in the neighborhood of Harlem formations, these big rock formations that you can see, they all go back to the Ice Age and that I find very fascinating because they are still here in a city that is so modern and constantly changing but these rocks are still here since the Ice Age. Conservatory Garden is divided in three sections. Here we are in the northern section, which is dominated with this central fountain, this statue that represents three dancing maids. And this is called Untermeyer statue because it was belonging to a certain Untermeyer, a wealthy person from Yonkers, and his son decided after he was dead to donate the statue to Central Park. especially like about this section of the conservatory garden are actually these mixes of plants at the four entrances in the four corners. And here we're about to enter my absolute favorite part of this garden.
because seeing this place in full bloom in the summer is actually what convinced me to make this very video. You know, I could really stay here all day, <laughs> but the purpose of this video is to show you the whole Central Park, so let's go. As we all know, Central Park is a very, very touristy spot here in New York City. The whole world knows Central Park. But I discovered with much pleasure that about two thirds of the people who visit Central Park are actually New Yorkers, are people who live here in Manhattan or in New York City in other boroughs. And that made me happy because, you know, it means that it's a really lived park. It's not just a monument that stays there for tourists. This ring all around the reservoir is actually a running track and so many people, I would say thousands of people every day run here in the good season. Now with the snow is a little bit too icy and slippery to run but there are still people who are crazy enough. Ooh, there's one. Ross Pineto and the reason why I like it here I like it because it reminds me of Italy <laughs> these type of trees they are typical of cold climates like you can find uh, on the mountains on the Alps for example next to my hometown
this is the only bit of Alps that I'm gonna get this winter. You know, I forgot to mention that since I started from north going to south, I saved the best for last. The best would be the most popular part. All those famous Hollywood movies were shot in. It's the whole southern part. Right now we are walking right in the middle of the central meadow of Central Park. So this is more or less the, the real middle of the whole park, I think. And I'm not sure if it has a name, but for me it is the lawn that has the softest grass. <laughs> That's how it's called in my mind. <laughs> Honestly, I'm thinking about laying down on this super super soft grass but there are so many people around that I think it might be very disgusting I'm not gonna do it it's a place as you can see where people hang out a lot here and there are play fields as well so it's a very social recreational uh, part of central park and i dare to say that it's probably the most social meadow together with sheep's meadow which is uh, probably even more popular than this part here actually amazing to see this place here now because I clearly remember last time I was here and I shot the other video for the summer that it was full of people there was such an energy here everyone was playing was talking chatting laying down sunbathing and now there's one person I've seen in the whole field it's all for me <laughs> look at this nobody <laughs> Can you hear this? It was snowing yesterday night and today it's so cold that the surface of the snow is cracking under my boots. view on the Belvedere castle this one is Belvedere castle and we are not gonna go there although it's a very famous tourist spot because it's not a real functional building it's just um, in Italian we would call it capriccio architettonico it's a building of which the only purpose is to be aesthetically pleasing and also the style of this architecture is kind of copies the 
gothic and roman style i don't understand why <laughs> in the united states there are several examples of this type of architectures that mock other styles mainly european styles and i just don't understand why they do it I like the turtles, <laughs> they are so cute. Now we're entering my absolute favorite part of Central Park, the Rambo. wildlife here in in this area in the united states because they are not scared of humans this place is filled with little trails little paths it's crazy it feels like being completely outside of the city it reminds me a little bit of inwood hill park which is much more beautiful but it's so much further away from central park from lower manhattan You know what there is? Where the music from, comes from? I don't know if you can hear the music, but there are people dancing and everything. That's Bethesda Fountain. And we're going to go there now through Bow Bridge. And this is one of my favorite places to observe the turtles. Because they always come to this rock and they just chill there. <laughs> Look at 
what they are doing there. <laughs> it's an Instagram picture for sure. So what do you say? Do you recognize this part of the park? In my opinion, this is like the most iconic part of the park for the movies. to the southern border of the park you can hear the noises of the cars probably in the background we are back to the city it's evening the sun set i'm gonna bike home i hope you enjoyed this little experience i'll see you in my next adventure bye a good cinematic video maker and more about storytelling I know so this vlog was a bit different than my usual vlogs but Central Park is such an important part of New York City of this city that I really wanted to capture its energy 
I wanted to show you both the green bright energy of the summer and the white steel quietness of the winter. As you can see, the vibes are completely different. It's like going into a different place, really. The four seasons in New York City are a big thing, a big part of the life of the city. The four seasons are very, very different between each other. They are very strong and it's one of the things that I love the most about this city, honestly. In fact, I also made a video a long time ago, but it's still valid nowadays, about how the vibe of the city changes throughout the seasons, which one is the best for you to visit if you want to visit. And in that video, I explain more in detail how completely different of an experience you can have in your city in different months of the year. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave it here. Here's the link and in the description I leave the links to other similar videos that you can enjoy if you like this one. This is Mary Jane from a very snowy Central Park. It's all for today. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!